and it's going to open up when it opens up in order to make your uh, cortex work correctly um, you may have to update the firmware and i'm going to show you how to do that right now it's really easy once your cortex is plugged in and it's powered on and it's working and you have two green lights on the cortex you're going to go to robot download firmware automatically update vex cortex never works in my classroom on any of the computers in my lab nor has it ever worked on my laptop so i always use manual update for firmware and i'm going to start with the master cpu firmware click on standard file and be patient let it do its thing uh -huh. basically what this is doing is erasing the firmware that's in the cortex and replacing it with an updated version every once in a while this download stops or hangs somewhere in the middle and then it says it's unsuccessful if that happens just try it again um, sometimes the second or third time is the charm I really don't have many problems with it not working um, the first one two or three times the next step is to go to download firmware manual update and let's do the robot C firmware this time and choose the standard file same thing if this hangs up or stops somewhere in the middle and says it was unsuccessful do it again it generally works the second or third time if it doesn't work the first must be my lucky day because both of them worked um, okay both of them worked first time now your your cortex is ready uh, to be programmed